You're listening to a Life in Quebec podcast. For more, visit lifeinquebec.com. This is a recording of an article that first appeared in the summer 2016 issue of Life in Quebec magazine. It was written by Rosanna Haratunian. A new effort by opposition parties and civil society organisations to reform Quebec's electoral system could have implications on the way Quebec residents vote in the next provincial election. This is really the first time that all opposition parties are agreeing on the need for electoral reform, says Jean-Sébastien Dufresne, president of the Mouvement pour une démocratie nouvelle a citizen-led organisation that has been working to reform Quebec's electoral system for the last 15 years. Dufresne says MDN has defined five principles to guide the process of deciding on a new electoral system. First, the system should accurately represent the will of the people instead of awarding what MDN calls false majorities. Second, It should respect the political weight of Quebec's regions so large cities like Montreal and Quebec City do not have the most decision-making power. Third, Dufresne says the new system should reflect the political pluralism of society. The system that we have in place is bipartisan, or for two parties, he says. We have many political parties and many voices, and this is a sign of a vibrant democracy, where you have the possibility to find a diversity of ideas in political debate. The system should also be equally representative of men and women, and lastly, representative of Quebec's ethno-cultural diversity, he says. Dufresne says the opposition parties and the Quebec Liberal Party have agreed to participate in three trans-partisan discussions about electoral reform with civil society organisations as part of the MDN's Meilleur Démocratie campaign. The goal of the meetings held in May and June of this year has not been to define the specifics for a new uh, electoral system, but to reach consensus on principles that can be presented to the Liberal Party to move forward on implementing a new system in time for the 2018 election. According to Benoit Charette, Coalition Avenir Québec, uh, MNA for Deux Montagnes and CAC spokesperson for Democratic Reform, His party would like to replace the current system with a mixed-member proportional representation system. In an MMP system, citizens vote for a local representative and additional regional representatives are chosen from a list to ensure that the number of seats each party wins is proportional to the percentage of votes it wins. People feel as though their vote doesn't matter, says Charette. This system has the advantage of accurately reflecting the will of the people more so than the current model. Both Charette and Dufresne say that an MMP system will allow those who are marginalised in the current system, including ethnic minorities, women and anglophones, to be better represented in the National Assembly. Dufresne says that while the Liberal Party has not made electoral reform a part of its mandate, Its past attempts to reform the electoral system may make members receptive to the idea. In 2004, the Liberal government of Jean Charest presented a draft bill proposing an MMP system. The government consulted the chief electoral officer after the committee was unable to reach a consensus on certain details of the proposed reform. The whole thing had no support within the government caucus and therefore it did not go anywhere, says Louis Massicot, a political science professor at Université Laval. Massicot was a technical advisor to the provincial government from 2003 to 2004 and wrote a report about MMP electoral systems that led to the draft proposal. He says the previous attempt at reform was thoroughly depressing. While the opposition parties seem open to proportional representation, they become less enthusiastic about change as they gain power, says Massicott. In a proportionally representative system, the government reflects the divisions of the electorate, not only in the division of seats, but also in the sharing of government departments and ministerial portfolios. On the topic of sovereignty, for example, parties would have to negotiate with each other on whether to hold a referendum. 
How much more pleasant is it when the ruling party can decide on its own to hold a referendum and decide on the questions? While Massicott says the federal government faces similar obstacles as it aims to deliver on its promise of electoral reform, Dufresne says electoral reform discussions at the federal level help to bolster the case for electoral reform in Quebec. Jean Cret, political science professor at l'Université Laval, says Quebecers are unlikely to adopt a new model before the federal government does because it reinforces a difference between Quebec and the rest of Canada. While opinion polls show Canadians are satisfied with the current electoral model, they also indicate that on the topic of reform, most Canadians believe a referendum is needed before any change takes place. The Federal Conservative Party is calling for a referendum as well, but Massicott points out that it is not constitutionally necessary. Choosing to give Quebec a new voting system is primarily a societal choice, writes Alexandra Reni a spokesperson for the Directeur General des Elections du Québec. She points to referendums held in Prince Edward Island, British Columbia and Ontario on the topic of electoral reform, which concluded in supporting the status quo. If the question of the voting system was raised again, Quebec could learn from these participatory democracy practices, she adds. Dufresne says getting the public engaged in the electoral reform process is a challenge, he says the MDN aims to outline problems with the current system and show examples of where proportional representation is working to get people involved in the Meilleure Démocratie campaign. The only people that are deeply and strongly committed to introducing a different electoral system are by coincidence the smallest parties whose chances of reaching office are almost nil in present circumstances, says Massicott. He says CAC leader François Legault was against electoral reform in the past and will likely not support it if his party gains more seats in the legislature. Massicott adds that pierre Carl Pelladeau's announcement that the Parti Québécois would open the door to proportional representation was also non-committal. Pelladeau made the announcement in February and resigned as leader of the official opposition party in May. Thank you for listening to a Life in Quebec podcast. For more news, editorials and opinion, visit lifeinquebec.com.